Hey, welcome back. So in the last video, we looked at how you can send your first request in Postman. So we sent a get request and we also got a response from the weather API, right? So now we'll be looking at more details of the response body. So we'll look at what are the different response body types, how you can view those responses in different, um, in different you can say views, uh, which are available in Postman and then uh, what are the cookie information, header information, which is also stored in that response body, right? How you can view that response body, uh, what are the details included in that? Then um, what is the response status? Uh, what was the time taken by this response to process? What was the response size? Um, how you can view the network information available um, for this response? And then how you can save this response in different formats. So we are going to look at all of these, right? Let's go back to our postman where we already have our response, right? So this was our request and we sent it across. So, and we got this response body, right? So there are different sections to this response. Um, the first is the body, right? Now, depending on the body type, like there are different body types. So whatever a your API is supporting, it will return that specific uh, response in that format, right? So ours is JSON, but it can be XML, HTML, text, or auth, right? So these are the different body types or formats which are available uh, with your APIs, right? Now, Postman provides you with different views through which you can view your response body, right? Now, the first one is pretty, which is kind of a, a JSON view of your response and it's pretty well formatted, right? So you can easily understand what's, what's in the body. So as you can see, these are the coordinates, right? This is the weather. So what's the weather like? Um, so in main, it is showing clear. In description, it is showing clear sky, right? And then um, the base. So these these are the stations. Then main, it temperature feels like. So whatever information you see on the UI when you look search for a weather at a particular location, these are exactly showing you the same details in this body, right? So when you integrate this API with your application, weather application, you will be able to see these uh, details on that application, right? Now there are other uh, views as well, right? So there is the raw body type where um, this information is shown in raw type. So it's the raw information which is written by the server. Now it's not quite a kind of predictable. What's the value? What's the key here, right? So it's very difficult to find out. So generally, uh, nobody prefers this raw response body, right? Now, if your response is an HTML type, then it will show you a preview of your HTML page. Since it's a JSON type, right? So it won't be showing you this preview. And visualize is a, a specific kind of uh, graphical visualization of your of your body, but it's not always available, right? So you can turn your raw response data into this graphics, but you need to add some visualizers to your test scripts. So that's that's a different topic. I don't want to get into, but these are the different uh, views which are available in Postman. Okay, now what are the other sections? You can see here there is cookies, right? So this particular API doesn't have any cookies. If there isn't cookie information which is sent by the server, it will be displayed here, okay? Now, as we saw that uh, headers, we are sending headers in our request, the same, um, some of the headers are returned by res in the response also by the server, right? So response is returning us with the content length, the connection, um, cache key, so access control, allow origin credentials methods, right? So these are different headers, which is returned by the server. Now, and these are the test results. So if you have added any tests, so we didn't add any tests in our request, so there are no results, but if you have added any test, the results will be shown here, 
right so these are the different sections of your response body now coming to validations right so how you can manually validate whether your response is successful or not right so the obvious way of doing it is looking at the status right so the 200 status it says that your response was successful right so standard response for successful http requests and the okay is the kind of description of your response status right so both of these combinations can be taken as a successful response for your request http request right now what was the time taken to process this request right so it took 422 milliseconds now if you want if your api uh, requirements right has a saying that it should be processed in 30 milliseconds then your uh, maybe your um, performance is not up to the mark right so you can report it as a performance uh, issue for your api similarly uh, you can also validate the size of your response body right so if your api requirement is saying that your response body should be of a specific size you can very well validate it here right so these are the three most simple validations which you can perform on a response body uh, in a manual way okay now how you can view your network information right so this is the basic network information which is displayed by your postman uh, response right so the local address it is displaying and the remote address so from where uh, the request was sent and the response was received right so this is the network information you can be you can view your network information here okay now coming to the last section is how you can save your response right so you can very well save it say to a file and it could be in a json format or you can save it in a text format so however you like you can save your response to this file right now if if you want to put some uh, or you, if you want to validate some additional things on the response body you can very 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 well do that right so if you know what what will be the expected value of your longitude or latitude you can validate that here right so whether it is displaying the correct longitude and latitude right uh, whether it is displaying the right temperature uh, or humidity or pressure right so all these uh, you can say nodes of your json response can be validated so either you can validate it manually or you can validate it by writing automated tests which we are going to look uh, in our later videos how you can add um, automated tests in your postman api but you can validate all these values which are sent in the response and whether they are matching the expected response values right so these are the different validations you can put and uh, this this is how you can uh, also look at your response for any particular request in postman right so i i hope um, it makes sense how you can send a request and then once you re receive a response how you can look at your response right so how you can val put some validations around them right and do some basic testing so if you like this video please uh, give a thumbs up to us and if you have any comments or feedback please leave them in on this video and i will get back to you also you can subscribe to our youtube channel qa script right so whenever we add any new video on any new tool or topic you will be automatically notified by youtube right you can hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen or you can search us on youtube just type qa script and hit the subscribe button thank you for joining on this video and join me in the next video where we're we'll looking at some other postman request types and how you can add tests and other features of postman